asleep in your arms. I just hate being away from you. I never felt so alone. What you and I have together is so special. I feel so empty when we're not together. Who's with you today? Oh, my guy. Um, well, present company excluded. I think I work with the sexiest man on day time. Um, he <laughs> makes me smile all the time, and uh, he's a great singer and the most wonderful guy I know. Uh, Michael Damien, he plays Danny. I should, I, it's uh, all right. Congratulations. Sit down. By the way, can, I just <laughs> want to say real quickly, congratulations on your Emmy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Wonderful that I know of with one, and I'm sure with the, the other two it's the same, because you have to establish a certain rapport and a certain chemistry that either happens or it doesn't. You can't manufacture it. It's either there or it isn't. What happens if, you if you're have, cast with somebody that you don't have that chemistry with, though? It's difficult. And then I don't think you end up working with them. <laughs> really? Do they mean, change well, that I mean, right away? No, I mean, you're a professional. You work with people. You have different feelings and different chemistries with different people. But, uh, but you all are very close. You guys were hanging out in the same dressing room. <gasps> You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> what, me and Tom? No, no, no you and no. Laura. We found it, I want you. <laughs> you and Laura. And then we found out that the mic was on. <laughs> yeah, right. I cut the mic off. <laughs> What's but, a wonderful new experience, does, yeah. What's it like to work with Laura? Mm -hmm. Do you guys just have a ball? I should be paying them. Seriously, it's it's yeah. amazing, really. It's How long have you guys been working together? Uh, About eight or nine years. Nine years, eight or nine years. That long? Yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. So you've sort of grown up together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, yeah. Well, you were children then, weren't you? I was. I was. I was ten. <laughs> ten when I started the show. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Twenty. Oh, I am sucking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I was. I was. I can't remember what I was. We're a perfect age separation because the, when we both started out, the relationship was inconceivable, and that's I think what's made Cricket and Danny so great is we've grown up. And I had a crush on Cricket had a crush on Danny, and it wasn't possible for the relationship. And now we're now the characters are married. For some reason, she caught up to me age-wise, and, and I stopped. <laughs> yeah, I think you started lying about your age. I did not. I, I'm I'm 30 years old. I admit it. 30 well, you're old. a darn cute 32. <laughs> my God. Oh, oh baby, baby, I love you. <laughs> People that you mm. emulate or, or <laughs> admire. Go ahead, Michael. Today, today <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, I am very fond of, and today my air show. The first thing Michael said after he saw it is, you did that line just like Michelle Pfeiffer did it in Catwoman in, Bat in Batman. Yeah, you should have seen it her was, today. I, yeah. I wasn't conscious of it, but I... To, right today when you were at work? It was an air show. It was air an air show. show. Oh, it, it was, it was amazing. It was like a... It was a... It was her trying... It's this whole sexual harassment storyline, and she has to convince him that she's in love with him again, and she's got to get him to admit all these things in a, on this tape. She's wired, right? And so she's saying all these things to him. You know, he says... She says, so... Are you going to fire me if I don't sleep with you? And he's, he's saying, yeah. She goes, oh. And she's, and she's really getting excited. And he's really into this. So he says, if I'd have known you would react this way, I would have been saying all these bad things long before, you know? And she gets all this out, and then she just goes, I'll see you in court, and shoves him oh, away. Oh, good. So we're getting to the climax oh, here, so well. to speak. Oh. Well, good. But the, we're going to be right back with Daytime's Hottest Stars, and we're going to find out more of their secrets uh, when we come back. To, do you get to uh, write your own stuff and perform it on the show? And right. It's uh, How neat. It's wonderful. Yes. How did that happen? Well, I was, uh, I was singing in a family band, six sisters, two brothers, and we played in all the clubs and uh, did the whole thing around L.A. I did American Bandstand. Uh, I was about, I think, 18 at the time. I sang on it. Uh, the producers of Young and the Restless saw the performance called, asked if I knew how to act. I lied. I said yes. <laughs> and uh, they said, well, you know, he plays a struggling singer-waiter, and that's what I was doing in real life. And so uh, with no acting experience, I 
segued on for a summer storyline 11 years ago. Yes, ow. Uh, what else can you girls show us? Flip it, Laura Lee. Yes. Your hair. Want to have a contest? Hair stuff? Come here, okay. baby. Luckily, I'm wearing a skirt. Let's just take center right here. Yes, you certainly The first are. thing you do is you go up in front of the guy you want to talk to, and you kind of lift it up a little bit. Whoa. And you go over and you do this. And you come up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, with this area, you smack them in the face. Great. Let me make sure I got you. It's That's all I do. I have no other secret. Other, and they can play hair war games. <laughs> where she just suddenly turn her head and the hair would jump. <laughs> Only the good. Can I ask you a serious question? Have any of you... Um, what you were saying about how whoever you're dating or spouses or something, it's completely... When you get to the set, there are so many people there and so many people rushing in and tucking you in that I don't think anyone can really get jealous. So... Now, do you have a, a significant other? Um, hmm? <laughs> what, did I ask a trick question or what? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Vicki, you're so personal. <laughs> well, okay. people would like to know if yeah, you're happy. Like to know. In your yeah, personal yeah, life. Yeah. The long thing. Yeah. Do you want to know if you're happy in your personal life? Yeah. Yes, I am. That's great. <laughs> oh, you're very happy. Look at you. So you have a significant other. Is it somebody we know? Um, I don't know. How many syllables? Come on, come on. <laughs> the person has two names. <laughs> um. A first name and a last. <laughs> anyway. But you don't want to share it. She's basically saying leave her alone. <laughs> How long have you been going with him? Oh, God. There's so many people on the panel, Becky. <laughs> yeah, and you skipped him. Is it Michael? What? Is it Michael? <laughs> yesterday, you know? We spent a lot of time together. So much time together. Uh -huh. we, we were kissing all the time. We're in bed all the time. It's, it's a uh -huh. lot of work. But after what you said, we're not we're staying work. away yeah. from each other. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a tough job. Well, okay. I always said it was stupid if you did it with more than one person that you worked with. One? <laughs> One's fine, as long as it, you don't get... Oh, well, the whole wait, wait, wait. of Young and Restless, we all... Honestly, do you see how this conversation together. has totally gotten away from me? I have a, I've a lot, but I think we did get a scoop here. That's what I think. So, uh, and these ladies say that they have something that I have got to see when we get back, so we're going to find out right after this. What? What's going on with you? For tickets to the 